All right, you guys, here we go. We're uh, doing our third lesson. We're going to find um, the actual uh, trig functions of uh, angles in both degrees and radians here. So we've talked about the unit in circle extensively. Here we go. So this is part three. So let's go ahead and fill in all the unit circles with everything from the last lesson. Okay, so let's just go back and I'll talk about this again. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is 0 degrees, this is 90 degrees, 180, 270, okay, and this is 30 degrees, 45 degrees, uh, 60 degrees, okay, and then so if this is 180, go back 30 degrees is 150, go back 45 degrees is 135, and this would be 120, it's 180 minus 60, and so on, so we're going to keep going around right there. And then as far as pi's, you guys, remember they go away from the, the, the x-axis, 6, 4, 3. So this is going to be 6, 4, 3, okay? And this is going to be uh, pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3. And this is pi over 2. This is pi. This is 3 pi over 2. Okay, this, this goes 6, 4, 3 for radians right here. I'll just show you this. We've talked about this extensively, you guys. Okay, so this is pi over those. This is one more, or one less, sorry. This is one more, and then the numerators are one less than twice the denominators right there. Okay, and so, so everything's positive over here. So remember, all students take calculus. All of them are positive. Sines positive, only tangents positive. And only cosines positive right there, okay? So, um, and then we always write our ordered pairs as cosine, comma, sine, okay? Cosine comes before sine in the alphabet. And then look at the numerators. They go 3, 2, 1. And then these go 1, 2, 3. They're just square roots of 3, square root of 2. And the square root of 1 is just 1, so it's just 1. And they're all over 2s, okay? So they go 3, 2, 1. And this goes 1, 2, 3. 3, 2, 1, and the other one goes 1, 2, 3, square roots of them, square root of 3, square root of 2, square root of 1, 1, 2, 3, okay, so square roots of them, and here the cosines are negative and the sines are positive, over here everything's negative except tangents, tangents is sine over cosine, okay, we'll talk more about that in the next lesson, why tangent is sine over cosine, but that's a good shortcut way. Or you can draw your 30, 60, 90s again and 45, 45, 90s and find the tangents of the 30 and the 45 and the 60 degree triangles. Okay, you can always do that. All right, anyways, and now only the cosines are positive, so the first ordered pairs are positive, and over here the, uh, the signs are negative right there. Okay, so now that we know that, you guys, let's evaluate the trig functions without using a calculator. Okay, so the cosine of 16 pi over 3. Okay, you've got to recognize that 16 pi over 3, um, uh, let's see, so here's our unit circle right here, so we'll come back to that. So 16 pi over 3 is the same as 12 pi over 3 plus 4 pi over 3. This is 4 pi right there, and 4 pi is two complete circles right there. So the cosine of 16 pi over 3, you can take off the two circles, it's going to be the same as the cosine of 4 pi over 3. Okay, now um, 6, 4, 3 in the denominator, so this is uh, uh, 3, and it's in um, it's 1 more, so it's in quadrant 3, so it's right here. Here's 4 pi over 3. Here's the cosine, cosine, comma, sine, okay, so it's negative 1 half, okay? All right, how about this one, the tangent of 11 pi over 4? Okay, well, the tangent of 11 pi over 4, 11 pi over 4 is the same as 8 pi over 4 plus 3 pi over 4. Okay, so 8 pi over 4 is one circle right there. Okay, so one circle, we can take out the whole circle and just do the tangent of this leftover piece because, you know, we're going to go around right there. So this is in quadrant um, uh, 2 because it's one less. So here's tangent right here. It's right there. So the tangent is sine divided by cosine. Okay, these guys are equal to each other, so what's root 2 over 2 divided by negative root 2 over 2? It's negative 1, so the tangent of that is negative 1. Okay, how about the sine of 5 pi over 6? Okay, well, the sine of 5 pi over 6, that's in uh, quadrant 2 right there. There's 5 pi over 6, there's sine. Okay, cosine, comma, sine. It's positive 1 half. 
Okay, how about the cosine of 7 pi? Well, the cosine of 7 pi is 6 pi plus pi. 6 pi is, um, uh, I don't think I finished this. I don't remember finishing this. So cosine of pi, I don't think I did, did I? Yeah, so here's pi right here. Here's cosine comma sine. So the cosine of pi is negative 1. Oh, I did. Okay, it's negative 1. Okay, I was thinking something else. All right, so how about the cosine of negative 30? Okay, well, negative 30, a negative angle is clockwise. So this is down in quadrant 4. All students take calculus. The cosine's positive here. So the cosine of uh, negative 30 right there is this right here. So it's root 3 over 2. So that's the answer, root 3 over 2. Whoops, it's not negative. It's positive root 3 over 2 because cosine is positive. If that was a... Uh, if that was sine, it would have been negative one-half. Anyways, that's uh, positive. Okay, how about this? The sine of negative 510. Okay, the sine of negative 510 is uh, negative 360 plus uh, negative 150. So this is a clockwise angle. So this is one full circle right there. So, so um, the sine of negative 510 is also going to be the same as the sine of negative 150. So we've got to go 150 directions in this direction right here. Remember, this is negative 180. It's also positive 180, but it's negative 180. So this is a 30-degree angle right there. Okay, so that's a 30-degree angle, and sine is negative on that 30-degree angle. So here it is right there. There's the sine. So it's going to be negative 1 half right there. Okay. All right, if you are in my class, I'm going to give you that for your assignment. Take care.